Howdy, welcome back to Skin Tickle Appliances. In this video, I'm going to do a bit of a how to uh, video on this one. Um, obviously, it is with the Samsung washing machine, um, as I uh, now have no longer have the Hoover machine, as it's now been sold finally. Um, yeah, aside from that, uh, so what we'll do, I'm going to exactly how to do the time delay on this machine. So I'm just going to plonk you down here. I'm going to turn it on obviously so the way time delay usually works on other models when you usually tap this it should come up like with one hour two hours three hours and so on which has been in my previous machines that i've used this one is kind of like using rocket science the reason i say this is because you've got to include this which is the cycle time in your delay time so when i tap this it comes up for hours not one so what that means is you are having a total of a four hour cycle it sounds weird of this saying it because you've got to have three hours 18 then obviously it goes up to four so making it a 42 minute delay so that's why it comes up with four and not one and I'll demonstrate it on another cycle. So the, the eco cotton that says four hours 29. And when you adjust everything on here, you've got five hours one. You want to do time delay, starts at six hours. Again, because the five hours one is included in this six hours. So really, it's only a 59 minute delay. It is a bit of a stupid way of thinking about it, but obviously it does go up to 24 hours, but really you're losing out on that time because this, because like I say, if I go to, let me move my arm, the daily wash, um, that's one hour, four minutes. And so then you start at two. So you've got two hours, so you have a 56, no, you have a one hour, 56, no, hang on. Yes, you've got, yes, so you have a 56 minute delay so then, obviously, you've got to kind of count. So you got, if you want to start it in eight hours, so you've got one, 56 minute, one hour, 56, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hours, 56. So, yeah, let's say you want to start at five o'clock or maybe just before, you'd have to put it on nine hours because you've got to take one hour four off that as well. It's so complicated and in the description, I'm actually going to kind of put a more readable way of understanding it, but I'm just doing a how to video on how it actually works. It is just so much more complex with these machines. Um, I don't know how many of you out there do actually use time delay, but this is more complex. I don't know if LG is the same. Usually they're around the same similar. They have some similarities. And another thing I'll demonstrate, if I go back to cotton, the cotton, eco cotton, I think are the two cycles where you, that it detects the load. But when you do a time delay, this you don't know what the actual time of the cycle is going to be. So if you want to delay it for so long and then have it finished, by the time you wake up or home from work, whatever, then you just don't know. So the best way is to put it on, press the start button, let it detect the load, so you know exactly what time is, reset it back again, and then do your then do your time delay. That is kind of as simple as I can put it with, with this machine. It is absolutely, <laughs> it is a bit mind blowing when you think about it, but that is kind of my best explanation on how to use time delay on Samsung washing machines. It probably goes for the same with the newer models as well, with time delay. So obviously this how-to video will probably give you an idea. Again, as I said, in the description, I am gonna put a detailed kind of formula, if you like, um, so you actually kind of know how to work it out. But anyways, that's it from me. So if you do like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to 
click to all tap subscribe and when you click or tap subscribe you click that notification bell and when you do that click all notifications so you get notified of all of the videos i upload and i will see all you lot in the next one